In the last tutorial, we created some mountains using the landmass plugin. So now we try to paint these mountains uh, again using the landmass plugin. So let me do that. First, uh, let's create a mountain. Okay, now we have a decent looking mountain and let me rename this as Top Hill. Alright, we're good to go. So now we are trying to paint this mountain with a different color or I mean different uh, layer. So right now it uses the auto layer, but uh, let's let's try to change it a little bit. So I'm trying to go to my landscape painting section here we have the layers here so these are my material layers so here i'm trying to use two more layers top alpha and the sand alpha basically i'm trying to put some sand and snow in this mountain for that one uh, we need to use the alpha layer so that's pretty important otherwise this this doesn't work so that's why we have top alpha and here we have top and uh, other versions as well so we need to use the alpha version and i'm going to create a new layer in force should be none weight layer painted. So this is pretty important. So I'm going to create a layer info here. So it could be anywhere. And I'm trying to create a, another layer info for the sand alpha as well. All right, cool. I'm not going to paint right now. And then I'm going to go to my mountain and select details. And I'm going to search for paint layers. Now here I'm going to put a new layer here this should be our top top alpha so as you can see it's calling as top alpha i'm just gonna top alpha all right then you can see now it adds, adds some snow on the top of the hill the edge is quite sharp so we can fix that using the tiling the tile influence let's put back something like two and let's increase the tiling texture something like this I think it looks fine and I can uh, increase the influence and I can get a nice look so this is yeah this this looks fine maybe we can improve but uh, I think this is fine now I'm trying to add some sand layer in between it's not realistic but uh, this is something we, we can try all right then I'm going to create a new layer called sand alpha this should be the name of the our material layer so it should be sand alpha all right okay now it put sand on on top of the snow that's totally fine actually let me close this so we don't need it anymore okay all right so now we can see here all right that's totally fine so what i'm trying to do is i'm going to click this mask using a band so basically it's just like adds as a band not not just the entire thing so then uh, so then i can use this edge offset to like move here and there so it should be a high number like thousand so it, it adds a band like this i can put it like two thousand two thousand actually so then you can move this band to any place you like okay this place looks like then i can use the fallback width or the band thickness to actually increase the the layer All right again we have a sharp edge that's fine i'm gonna increase the texture influence this is a noise texture influence so maybe four this is too much maybe two that's even too much 1.5 maybe okay and then i'm gonna increase the tiling a little bit to get a variation i think um, maybe i need uh, more influence all right then i might need to increase the band thickness all right that's how we can do it so basically now we have painted our, our mountain again using our landscape material layers but but it's, it's a non-destructive way so then we can easily move this mountain here and there and uh, the paint carries with that right, you can see this is pretty important pretty interesting so we can actually paint anything uh, any layers we want and it should be an alpha layer that's the only requirement and then we can even mess around with the opac opacity and get a nice blend yep this is it See you soon with uh, another tutorial.